is a beautiful uh, Dufour Grand Large 485 with Diego, the owner who sells her all the way from Italy. And uh, I will show you around because Diego uh, prefers uh, to speak Italian. <laughs> yeah. So Grazie. it will be fun like this. So that's great. Well, well thank you for having us on board. And uh, we look forward to have a look around. Thank you very much. <laughs> Grazie a te. Bella. <laughs> Grazie mille. <laughs> right, so we're going to start at the front. So the Dufour Grand Large is uh, not like other Dufours. This one is specifically designed to go around the world. And even beyond this, uh, the owners have transformed it to be able to make it even more convenient to go not just through the trade winds around the world, but also to perform in all sorts of uh, weather conditions. They have the Cozero installed here at the front. It's uh, on the retractable bicycle here. And this is the Cozero which comes down and just disappears into the sail locker when you don't need to use it. It's a cutter rig, so you have the Genoa here and you have the Jeep here. Everything is controlled into the cockpit, even the Code Zero, thanks to their endless rope. You can see a very strong uh, furling system, um, so that will last forever. It's not one of those uh, tricky ones which have a spring loaded thing here, it's just a completely mechanical one. So you can always um, service it, so give it a clean and it will last forever. The anchor locker down here. Quick anchor winch which is controlled from the cockpit. So you have, you can just control your anchor up and down from here. Or you can also do it from the cockpit which is great if you're by yourself and, uh, and you need to just either settle for the night or, or move to different places. So let's have a little look in here. So there's a lot of room in here. In fact, to give you an idea, I will go down and show you how big that is. Right, so in here you have room for everything. You have access to your anchor to your anchor winch motor if you need to give it a clean and service it. You have the the bass the bath spade system here, uh, which is actually set up with that rope here. Um, and then you have a few spare ropes, very good quality uh, Dyneema, and there's some. Uh, this is your anchor snubbing rope. You have a spare anchor here as well, which is uh, always good. Every cruising boat should have two anchors just in case. Okay, so the decks are just really nice because you're not encumbered. You can walk around without tripping on anything. This is a spare Genoa, mm -hmm. brand new Genoa, just been delivered. This is the base of the mast, which is very, very tidy. There's no sound of corrosion anywhere. You can see the vang, you can see the gooseneck, everything is in very good condition. The boat has been fully surveyed just last week and found to be in excellent health. The report is available, just give us a, a call and we'll send it to you. Very strong bank system. All the running rigging is in very good condition. Let's have a look at the mast. Radar. One of the spinnaker poles which is mounted on the mast and ready to deploy. And then there is a spare one which is a carbon fiber spinnaker pole here. And that is great to use when you want to pull at both head sails. That was very convenient for, for example, sailing to Tahiti when they were in the consistent trade winds all the way across. You'll notice that the life fans are a little bit higher than normal. So, and that's for additional safety, there is a gate at on either side. Um, the owners were saying that the Dodger was a bit old and could do with replacing, um, so that will be up to the new owner. But personally, I think it's still in very good shape. Just the stitching perhaps could be redone. It was uh, it's a sombrella fabric, so it's very durable. 
um, but obviously on the wild side can be replaced. The Bimini, however, is very good. And then we're starting to see a little bit of the solar panels at the end. So we'll go out this way. This is one of the great things about those G4s is a spacious cockpit and a really good quality um, material that they use. For example, the solid tick table. Um, there is a little bit of tick trimmings, but not too much. So you don't have too much uh, maintenance to worry about. Just wash the boat down and that's it. So the Targa, which was engineered to be very strong and accommodate easily the weight of the dinghy or even an even bigger one if necessary. And then you have your solar panels. There is a, a projector light as well here, which is good if you want to leave it on when you come home at night and you need some light to get off your dinghy or if you're fishing. At night, you have a special davit for lifting the engine up and that's also very convenient. So you can just have a dinghy that is uh, fast free on the back of the boat. You also have a second pad for an additional engine if you wanted to mount a second one. Then we have the duck board which is uh, one of the things that is the most popular to have when you leave a board. You want to go for a swim every five minutes, obviously. You can come back easily. Anyone from a toddler to an elderly can easily get on the board thanks to that. This is the space for the life raft ready to deploy if needed. An additional boarding ladder, which is well a swim ladder, which lodges in here. And uh, yes, and not to forget the shower, which is uh, hot and cold and controlled out here. Just a, a nice big view of the cockpit. All right, so we're gonna have a look now. One of the biggest, uh, most important thing with cruising yachts is that there is enough storage for everything, your equipment, your spare parts, the tools, obviously all your water toys, and uh, your safety equipment as well. And uh, yes, yeah, so let's start here. The gas bottles, so they about two most worth of supply here, and they have to be put into a dedicated space that is uh, uh, that is plumbed in a way that if there is any leak, that it goes overboard. So that's specific for the LPG. Now you have in here one of the big uh, lazarets. We call them lazarets. Um, with a lot of room here. In fact, I will just go like this. So you can see there is a lot of room. So that's the box with the yeah, toolbox two, here. Three, yeah. Yes, and there is three of them. So you have tools for everything if you want to do some repairs on board as you go. And then there is more storage in here. So just this is a very good space to put all your cleaning products Fish. and dinghy pump, etc. Yeah, just some more fishing things. <laughs> so we've uh, taken off a few things to show you even more space in here. So there is a emergency rubber and a side ladder as well. Uh, another thing is that the water pump is here and that's actually a good feature because it's often noisy when it's placed inside. Uh, most uh, boats have them under the cabin floor, but here it's a lot less noisy when people use water, especially at night. <laughs> okay, so let's have a look at the steering position. So there are those seats here, which are very good. They are removable. Right now they're covered with this uh, nice cup, but they're actually made of wood and stand is still, they pop out and they disappear into the Lazarus when you don't need them. There is another one here also, but we decided for today just to put those two out. Uh, one of the great features also is that they come out, one, the middle one comes out and it, it sits over there where the table is um, in front of the companion way so that we can actually have more people sitting around the table. So as you can see, those seats are angled so that if the boat is healing, you're still comfortable. A lot of people on the G4 sit here to steer 
um, but personally on a long distance <laughs> I think it's quite nice to be here it also gives you better access to the instruments so you've got all your instruments here and um, and that will give you right now it's in Italian but we can easily change the language to whatever will suit uh, the new owner of the book <laughs> okay so so you can see that this is interfaced with um, you have a combination of a radar and um, and uh, charts you have also a sonar which is a, and a fish finder which is pretty good um, this is just a fish finder alone that will give you your charts as well as this all just nice touch screen and um, this will just going to turn on the radar it takes a little bit of time but it will eventually come up on. So forward-looking sonar, radar, obviously your GPS and plotter, man of a board uh, as well, and uh, an alarm, um, and so all of those are interconnected and they are repeated also at downstairs at the navigation area. Um, so okay, so here you have just your regular wind instruments. So. It's a 2094, which has gone halfway around the world, but uh, remarkably, the engine hours are pretty low. They're only about 1500 hours, and they're less than 1600. Um, so it's a Volvo Penta engine. You can find parts for it around the world, and people who can service this engine anywhere, anywhere in the world, which is convenient and very popular motors for cruising yachts. There's a top, you know, between Myanmar and Volvo, there's pretty much everything you find on the new boats nowadays and cruising around the world. And uh, you have your bass thruster here. Very big winches, which means that you don't have to be a very strong person to, um, to, to be able to handle them. Compass. Here. Now we have more instruments out here. So previous owner liked to have a, a chair that is here, but in any case, you can still see from the side everything here quite comfortably. Um, so you have a forward looking sonar here again by itself, which is great if you want to have a full size plotter, but still see what's going on in front of you. Very, very, very good to have in areas where there is coral heads, like in Fiji, for example, which is quite common. Um, and then you have your autopilots um, and your and a repeater of the instruments again which these ones are very recent uh, so basically the owner has kept the old ones that are still working redundant and doubled them up with all new instruments that he put in in 2021 um, so these are all just the new models and you've got some chargers here lights that's good everything is well labeled so you know what you're doing additional winches here so that's the winch you will be using most of the time and that's electric you can see two speed electric um, so you can control pretty much everything from here another good feature for the d4 is that it goes up and down um, so you don't have to take it out and then find somewhere to put it which on a lot of boats it's annoying because you don't know what to do with this and another great feature of the d4 is that all of the ropes disappear in here so you don't have those uh, ugly sail bags <laughs> that everybody's pet hate and they always end up gathering a lot of other objects and ropes and yeah it becomes a bit of a throw all all right so cockpit so to give you an idea of how big it is so well i'm not very small <laughs> so there is oh you can see that list you know three people here three there and then that chair goes here so that's easy seven white people and then um, the table folds out. It's really nice stick. So in very good condition. And then we have a little bit of a little bin here to put things when you're sailing so they don't go flying around. And again, it's very good quality tick. On the bin. Can be open. See your sail while still being protected from the weather and it just comes up like that right now we want to 
keep as much shade as possible because it's a very very hot day in Fiji again and um, that's about it I think for the cockpit oh um, yeah there is a uh, cockpit speakers here on either side they're also just quite new this is your remote anchor anchor chain controller with a chain counter and there's a speaker here and uh, a manual uh, bilge pump just in case <laughs> i just thought you never have to use that but there it is and very large cockpit drains as well so you if a big wave comes into the cockpit it will drain really easily okay so wheels are nice They're covered with a uh, lovely leather there as a wheel look another thing is uh, you can see here so um windows open and they're big because often once we go inside you'll be able to see that um the the cabins actually are very bright much brighter than on other boats where the aft cabins are a little bit of a cave <laughs> this is very this is quite nice they're larger than normal uh portholes right well let's have a look inside now because the companion way is really wide okay and the stairs are also really wide so if you need to go down in bad weather you can go sideways very easily and also there's only just a few steps they are not it's not a very very deep descent through the companion way into the boat and uh, look at here on our guys it, uh, it's beautiful beautifully varnished and uh, it's just really beautiful solid timber and you'll see around the boat that there is a, use, a lot of use of the solid timber and that is nice to see because very often you have too much laminate <laughs> and it's not as nice um, this looks like a real boat to me so let's start in the galley so you have a nice big stone which is obviously on gimbals and uh, if you're at sea it will balance itself um, also a lot of those stoves have got three burners but they are really close together and if you've had a look at a few boats before this one you'll probably find that you may have three burners but you can only see two suspense because they're too small together this one is a big big stove with the oven and obviously a grill there's a lot of our uh, of uh, storage space all around you will see so that's the proper boot for cruising some of the other versions don't have as much uh, storage but this one is really built around being able to live on the boat and having some space for all your things. It's all in very good condition. So we have fridge here and if you remove this you can see it's actually very very deep in there. And on this side we have a freezer which is a little bit smaller, but still plenty of uh, plenty of room and also easy to access everything. You don't have to reach deep into something like you have in some other ones. Um, plenty of room for everything. Push buttons it can stay like this. You'll notice that the floor all through the boat is in very, very good condition. There is no scuff marks in the passages. The, a lot of places are protected with um, with vinyl um, so these are the places where you often when you're selling you throw things and that hasn't damaged the wood because it's been this uh, nice thing that's been there to protect it the navigation area people comment um, that the navigation areas on uh, on yachts on modern yachts is too small <laughs> and they like still to have charts or they like to have a space to work uh, in fact, uh, nowadays there is a lot of digital nomads who go around the world running their business and that's something that's become a bit of a phenomenon uh, lately. This is a proper place to work from, with a proper chair, um, which is at the right height and it just spins out when you need it. There is some, everything is very very tidy on Arca, and to have storage spaces. Again, this is protected with these vinyl covers, so it's kept the wood really nice. You've got your instruments here, which are repeated upstairs um, as well, so you can have a look at what's going on uh, from inside as well. All your 
all your electric uh, panels is well labeled as well so and it's all in english um as well so no problem here you have the ac and dc you have the boat is in 222 40 volts so uh, very good for our part of the world <laughs> and uh, one second yeah okay so let's have a look at how is it swing that there we go so i mean how good is that <laughs> at the beginning i was running my business from a boat and i have to say i was very happy with this kind of setup so perfect and that's just yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, so here's your VHF radio, we have your stereo here. Can you connect your stereo with uh, Bluetooth? Yes. Yes, so uh, you can connect your phone or your tablet or your computer to this and play the music. It will play through the inside. And so now looking at the bilges, you can see how dry and clean they are. They're also really deep, so you can store a lot of things in here on a passage if you need extra room for food and things like that, bottles. Um, here you can see the kill box. Very nice and clean. They've all been inspected very closely by the marine surveyor who was here last week. Got the other kill bolts in here. So they're very easy to access and to have a look at. Just lift that board and that's done. Okay, here's the last few kill bolts at the front. So they are very, very clean. Often you'll find that there is a little bit of surface corrosion on them, but these ones are totally fine. Not that surface corrosion is a big deal, but that's really good. And finally, we have the water maker here with all the controls. The batteries, they're all brand new. They've all just been replaced, including the one under the uh, forward bed for the bath thruster. And uh, as you can see, they're well secured at the bottom. There is also extra storage, um, including in here is the angle grinder with spare blades for the, whatever you want to do, cut or polish. And then out here is a hand drill. Actually, that's the other way around. And then you have some tools. There's also a spare gel coat, some glue, etc. That's part of the, of the equipment that's coming with the boat. This is the front of the motor. So you can see that you can access from here, although we haven't opened that, but this comes off the same as here. So you can access every side. It's really, really well maintained. There's no corrosion and very dry bilges. They stay dry all the time. So this is one of the views of the motor. This is just looking at it from the back. You can see the cell drive, the bilges, which are really nice and clean. Lots of spare storage here for um, oil, etc. There's also enough room if you wanted to install a bigger generator here, also there is space for the generator behind. I'll show you that in a minute. There's a brand new uh, master uh, battery charger, which is on its way from New Zealand, which will be installed. And here's the top of the motor, the back, the engine mounts, and I'll just give you another look from the other side. Uh, another view from the engine on the other side. And also access down here. This is a regulator for the solar, so working very well. And then finally, in here, you can see the generator. So 3.5 kilowatt, that's plenty to keep you going in case you have too many days of no sunlight or you don't have to run the, the, the motor to get some extra power that will come from here. If you wanted a bigger model, I guess up to a five uh, kilowatt would fit in here. Otherwise, you could just use this for storage and move the generator into another location to have more room. But this has worked really well and the boat has sailed around the world in this setup. So it's good to keep going for the same amount of people, which was five, and have power for everyone. It's very clean. There is no damage to the timber work. 
a lot of boats we see arriving here have got some damage just people bumping into it or moisture damage this is very very clean and also the gel coat and headliners are all just as they were on the day the day this boat was launched you often can see the aging there but no this one is just in such good condition oh, beautiful all right so now we're going to have a look into the forward cabin um, just to show you a little bit about the condition of some timber work so just very beautiful we have the two wide overhead deck hatches which are fitted with the special muslinets they provide good ventilation and good lighting in here there's also the side windows this one I show you with the blind up and this one I show you with the blind down a lot of cupboards and storage lockers we have a little sitting area here and there's a little vanity in here some more lighting power points another ventilation hatch in here there is the door and then there's a mirror behind it and let's go into the and suites so this is a proper and set with an actual separate shower so it's actually nice that there is a screen here to protect against splashes not that it matters because there is a drain but it helps you just not get the whole room wet when you have a shower. Again, nice big ventilation hatch. It's all very easy to maintain. I find that some boats that have a lot of timber in the head, often that timber deteriorates because of the amount of moisture here, but this is just a simple wipe down and it will stay the same for a decade again without any change at all just to wipe it down that's fine ah yes okay so that's also just comes down okay under this bed is uh, quite a lot of storage there is um a cupboard here which actually has people i mean there is a lot of stuff in there at the moment but then there is under the bed as well um a look all right so here is some of the storage access from lifting the bed and then under the bed at the front it's a bit hard to show you right now but there is actually a big storage place which also has the batteries for the bath rester and um, lots of, actually we open the cupboard so you can have a look and also the boat has many cruising yachts when the owners depart they just leave all this kind of stuff on board so the towels are here They're staying also all the kitchen equipment bed linen etc staying on board okay final view of the master cabin A bit for what it looks like normally because uh you know for storage purposes but um right now the owners have insisted on clearing up this cabin to show you also the setup they have uh, with this uh, divide here so that you can have people both sleeping here on a passage without having to roll on top of each other and also if you're alone in this bed to just you know you can just cushion yourself on both sides and and be safe from rolling around on your bed when you're trying to sleep in big waves okay and there's a view of this um, private head area which belongs to this guest cabin and another toilets so there is a uh, holding tanks as well for black water on this boat so you can access some marinas that are sensitive or some places like the Whitsundays for example that require you to have holding tanks Okay, final view up here. Alright, so here is the other guest cabin, identical to the other one, X 
except that um, this one has access also to it to its own answered but there is another door so that this head area can be accessed by guests who are not necessarily sharing this cabin and can have a private entrance so have a little look um, i really like this design because it's got a lot more storage um, than other boats a lot more so and also it's just really roomy head areas i've seen 55 foot yachts from different designs who don't have anything as generously sized as this, especially for three cabins, three head models. It's really well thought out. Let's have a look again. In this cabin, there's those extra large windows, which are fantastic. They provide much better ventilation and lighting than other yachts, production yachts of similar size and design from other manufacturers really substantial storage so hard to tell in a video but it's actually really really deep Got plenty of, uh, of room for hanging and it's also a deep hanging locker a lot of people find out their hanging lockers on the boat just stops at about 50 centimeters and everything has to be bunched up at the bottom um, well i hope you have enjoyed this little presentation of our car apologies about the noise in some places uh, we really do the best we can but um uh, yes i mean as i said before we are not professional filmmakers we're just trying to present the boats the best we can so that people around the world can see them and um get a good feel whether it could be the right fit for them or not uh, Arca was surveyed just before we put the boat on the market as one of our company requirements that we have a full bill of health before we agreed to put our boat on our listings. The surveyor came from Australia to have a really good look around. He's highly accredited and specializes in cruising yachts. Uh, the report is available if you just give us a shout. Uh, Arca is available now, her owner is on board and we can assist her with the language barrier as far as the handover and making sure that the new family for Arca is comfortable and safe and uh, can be given a full rundown of the boat and see how everything works. She comes fully loaded with everything you need to just move aboard and start your journey now. Get in touch! Thanks for watching! My name is Luigi Binelli Mantelli. I am a, a retired admiral from the Italian Navy. As soon as I finished my service in the armed forces, we had the idea to start a tour around the world on a sailing ship. So we brought this beautiful yacht and started our tour. It was for me a a stimulating and extraordinary experience because as you can imagine I didn't spend all my life sailing uh, with sailing boats but mainly inside the uh, warships so the contact with nature the contact with the skies with the sea with the wind is a stimulating and a very challenging experience for me we started departed from Italy. Uh, we brought the, this boat in uh, Martinica uh, before we had another boat. But this boat was very interesting for us because it's uh, elegant, it's fast, it's uh, functional, and it's also a very uh, comfortable one because we have three cabins with three bathrooms. We have enough space for navigating in three, four, as well as six. And the boat is well equipped, uh, but after we brought it, we changed many things, improved many things, like the, uh, the new uh, solar chargers, no solar panels, very powerful, uh, new set of sails, brand new, uh, a lot of, uh, of many of small changes that improved the ship performance. Uh, thanks also to Diego, which is with a, a very clever skipper. He 
found uh, many interesting solutions for the, this boat. So we can say that it is a very uh, powerful tool to navigate the ocean. Safe, fast, comfortable. We did a lot. We did a lot of experience. We had a lot of uh, strange experience as well as crossing a, 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 an enormous uh, sea of uh, uh, volcano eruptions in near Tonga some years ago. And so I'm uh, really, uh, I really enjoyed the experience on this boat. Thank you.